Hey everybody, Crystal here, and we're doing a soap, and it is unbelievably hot in my house right now. Like, I am burning up. It is so hot. What's that? Hmm? I'll clean out the car. I'll oh, clean out the car. Uh, so, even though it's unbelievably hot, and I get hot anyways when I soap, I'm going to go ahead and do a soap. I'm crazy, I know, but I've been wanting to do this soap for a while. Uh, this should be uploaded after my, uh, melt and pour, homemade melt and pour, um, video. So, hopefully I'll have the melt and pour video up first. And then I'll have this one because, um, I made homemade melt and pour for my balls for the topping of this soap. Let me get my additives, uh, mixed in. Here's our heavy cream going in with that. Make sure we get every bit out. I measured it exactly, so I try to get every little last bit out. That looks good. It looks like it leaked a little bit right there. So, let's get that mixed up. <laughs> you guys I've missed my KitchenAid I've been using that Bruin kitchen stick blender and it just I like it but it just doesn't mix as well as my KitchenAid does I, I can't help it it just doesn't mix as well my KitchenAid gets it like that okay I got a new container for my lye but I'm not sure if I'm happy with using this container oops I need to put my sodium lactate in and it's almost empty, so we'll just throw that in there. There's some sodium lactate. I usually measure it, but it only had a little bit in the bottom. And then I also have um, a silk in my lye. So in with my lye. And you guys, I have a question. Does lye really lose its potency if you don't seal it up? Like, if you leave it to set and you don't seal it, does it really lose its potency? Like, I heard that from a soaper uh, on YouTube. I'm not going to name any names, but she has tend to be wrong about her telling people stuff about soaping. So, I was just wondering if she was wrong with this as well. I don't know. But tell me in the comments down below if it's true or not. The whole thing for my stick blender. And the colors we're doing today, uh, we're going to do a white, a brown, and a red. Because this is cherry almond soap. So, let's go ahead and get our lime mixed. <laughs> looks good for right now you know what I'm going to go ahead and put my fragrance in why not please do not accelerate please oh please <laughs> gosh it smells good so we got our colors here this is my piping and this is they're both white so this is my main white and this is my piping white there's my piping which I will do that in a minute and my white this here is my red. It's all over the cap. 
and I want that to be very red. All right. are good. Let's do our red. I want it to be redder than that. That's more of a pink. Come on. Give me red. I guess that's about as red as it's going to get. And now brown. <laughs> all right, they all look awesome, guys. So here is the white. Everything is still nice and fluid. There's my white for the batch. Let me mix up my white for the piping, which it looks like it might take forever to uh, thicken up. We'll put that over there. About, is that a good red? That's about as red as I could get it. I used about a quarter of the bottle. This is staying really fluid. I might just do a drop squirrel, guys. Ooh, or a tiger stripe. Ooh, a tiger stripe would be nice. This is fluid for a tiger stripe. Yes, I think I might do a tiger stripe. All right, let me get my mold. Here it is. I just need the wire basket. Okay, so start off with some white. hot and I'm burning up soaping. I should have uh, gloves the on. There wasn't a screen in it but I was hot so I opened it. There's a screen in it. There's supposed to be. Oh there was. I am burning up you guys starting to thicken up a little bit not too much Okay, so, whoa. This 
smells so good, you guys. If I could just tell you how good this smells. It smells delicious. I love it. It smells that good. No acceleration at all. Perfect pour. Could not ask for a better scent. And that is um, Cherry Almond from Rustic Essentials. Um, so you guys definitely need to go check it out. It smells really good. when I get a perfect pour I can do stuff like a tiger stripe I know I don't have gloves on guys don't yell at me I know I know Believe me, I knew. I just forgot them. And I've already got started. And that one. And I wipe it off of me if I get it on me. I hope that red stays red like that. around me I know my piping has not set up yet because this is very fluid batter uh, I gotta wait on my piping yeah that's definitely not piping consistency I might be waiting a while you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go for right now but don't worry it's gonna be two seconds for you it'll be a while for me but it'll be two seconds for you Alright, so stay tuned for the piping, guys. And I hope my lighting's okay, because it is now dark. It was light outside when I started this, but now it's dark. That's how long I had to wait for my piping. So I hope you guys can see. So I want to go ahead and get started. Looks like we can only put three across.
perfect just the right amount I cannot believe I done that as perfect as I did it's a little sideways but that's okay so here is my homemade melt and pour balls we will start placing them I need to turn it this way so I can see. They're sweating a little bit. That's okay. There. Those look good. Okay, let's get some sparkle. We gotta have some glitter on the cherry soap. Alright guys, 100% homemade from the top to the bottom. Cherry almond soap. Here we go. Perfect piping. Perfect balls. My home, my homemade melt and pour. Which you will see that video before you see this one, hopefully. Uh, but they're both on my SD card right now. I just got to get them off there and edited. So we will give this uh, a cut tomorrow, guys. And I hope... I spaced them good enough to where I can cut them into even bars. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm not very good at spacing, but I tried. Alright, guys. So, stay tuned for the cut. We're back. We're back to cut my cherry almond soap. And here is what it looks like. It's still a little tacky. I just took it out of the mold. And I have fragrance dripping out of it. Um, I think I might have put too much fragrance in there. I think I'm putting too much fragrance in my soaps. I'm <clears throat> I'm doing a pound per uh, um, an ounce per pound of soap, and I think that might be too much because here lately, um, the soaps I've been doing, the fragrances have been coming out of it. So I'm thinking that it's uh, that I'm putting too much in there. There's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? The pretty tiger stripe with a little ball on top. I can't believe this was ready to go so soon. I just did this last night and it's now the next morning. And it looks like I've spaced my balls just perfectly so far. The top. So I love the tiger stripe. I can't believe I spaced these balls correctly. Because on that Essential Depot mold, there's no way to mark it for where the 
them buds need to go. So I just kind of guesstimated. <laughs> And it's turned out perfect. These are nice one inch size bars. So I am happy. Happy, happy, happy. Maybe the um, fragrance will uh, dissolve, not dissolve, but maybe it'll stop leaking fragrance as it cures. Probably could have waited a little bit longer to cut this, but it smells so good. I just could not wait. And it really does. That cherry is really coming through. Oh, isn't that a pretty tiger stripe? I love that. I think it's beautiful. I like tiger stripes. See the fragrance up there coming off? I know I blended it in well because I um I put the fragrance in all together instead of separately. And it worked beautifully for me. It stayed nice and fluid and everything. I just think I used too much of it. So hopefully it'll dry out. That's what I was trying to say. Dry out. Not dissolve, but dry out during the cure. I like that one. That one's pretty. Two more in an end piece. Oh, there's a pocket. Let's turn this around and see if we can get an end piece off of it. Ah, that's a little small, but it's all right. And our end piece, which I will cut for samples. I'll cut it later. I have to move my thing. All right, guys. Um, I just want to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. If you watch my commercials, I really appreciate it. Um, that I don't get paid much on um, YouTube, but every little bit helps. And I was going to kind of ask you guys, um, if you or any of your friends, anybody you know that would like to try my soaps, um, head on over to my Etsy store or my um, or my um, website. Video, I guess I'll catch you guys later. So bye bye.